Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find the video useful and helpful in your designing process. If you're a return viewer or, an, and a, or a subscriber, uh, thank you very much for your support. Greatly appreciated. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and tap on that right now. It really helped me out. Really much appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, today I thought I'd just make a, a design. I haven't done one in a while, so I figured I'll just go ahead and make something. I'll put the video into three timestamps so you can jump to what parts you want. First we'll make the top part, uh, then we'll do the smart flow stuff, and then we'll put the shank on at the end. So let's get going. Uh, I'll grab my tools, grab, grab a ring rail, and wait for it and then just hit enter I'll just take a size 7 I'll switch to my yellow layer creation layer go to my curves uh, grab a curve uh, straight line and then I'll with my quad or snaps on quad snaps I'll go to the top click and then I'll draw it hold down shift and just drag it straight out and then I'll right click bringing back and quad on the side there and then hold down shift and snap that down and then I'll just grab that curve on the side there and we'll just drag him over a little bit something like around there uh, you can play around with this this just kind of adjust I'm not going to be totally uh, picky and perfection like I might be if I was designing it for manufacturing or something uh, but I want to just show you all the little things so from here what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, do a blend and we'll blend from here to this one that curve there and it looks like it's uh, flipped on both sides there so we'll just go over to our uh, dynamic commands and flip first curve flip second curve and they should be out there where we want them I'll go to my top uh, blend curve my first curve and kinda just drag it out a little bit and then I'll go down here to my second one and kinda drag it up get it close to our rail there and it doesn't have to be perfect right now uh, we'll hit enter and I'll just go ahead and grab that and turn on my control points and grab that point that's way out here by himself and kinda drag it over to where it kinda lines up with my curve a little bit better and we'll just keep playing around with this to get it uh, a little bit uh, closer closer to our uh, ring rail there uh, not that far in something like that we'll go click on this one here and drag him in to about here maybe back up to this one and drag him out a little and I could play around with it like I said I, I could play around with this to get it real close or pretty much exactly where I want it but I don't want to waste your time so we'll just go with something like uh, this here uh, but I get it pretty close uh, and then hit enter hit escape twice get rid of the control points and then I'll select this one the curve that we put out there to dr do the blend hold down shift grab that one there and turn them to gray and turn them off might need them later uh, so at this point I'll take this curve and I'll just go ahead and mirror it over to the other side uh, F4 and shift and then we got that right so I'll take this curve and this curve and join them together. Now I want to check something here. So down in my command line, I'm going to type in uh, curvature graph, and I'm going to hit enter, and it'll bring me up a little menu here. And what it's going to do is just kind of check if you can tell right there. It kind of just uh, checks the continuity of your curve, the flow of it, and it looks pretty decent yeah okay so we'll turn that off uh, and we'll just keep this out for a little bit uh, we'll need it later probably uh, and right here it looks good so what I'll do is I'll just grab it and we'll just go to our tools again and hit profile placer uh, we'll keep it on all fours for a second here and I'll spin it around to where it's uh, leveled up and then I'll go to my profile uh, library and I want to get a, a little curve out here I want to give it a little s spice nothing major or anything uh, let's see what do we got here I should have thought about this before I started uh, uh, let's see uh, 
something with a little curvature but not so drastic uh, oh, I apologize for this I should have uh, looked at it a little more closely uh, yeah something like maybe this here perhaps uh, and we'll go ahead and select yeah those are curved it should be okay uh, so we got this we don't need it that large it's way too large so we'll just go ahead and grab that and we'll take it down to I don't know around a one point uh, around a two and then we'll drag it out to a 2.5 holding down shift and something like that and we'll go here to our other side and we'll just click one on here swing it around because we need these profiles later uh, and we'll also put one here up here at the top holding down shift so it goes right in the middle there and we'll need to manipulate this one a little hold down shift well we can't hold down shift on this one uh, and kind of put it so that it's going straight up there we go uh, okay and we'll hit enter uh, now we'll do just surface sweep, see what we got here. Uh, we'll do surface one, uh, our rail, one profile, other profile, other profile, hit enter. Let's give it some shading there. Take a look at it. <coughs> yep, that's kind of what I want. And hit enter, but we'll go up here and uh, manipulate this one just a little bit. And actually, I think I want this one a little different, so we'll edit I want a little more flatter, I think. Uh, so we'll go to something like this and hit enter or select. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. And actually, we'll do that to uh, this one too. Switch those profiles a little bit. Where was it? A uh, little flat on top. Uh, where was it? Well, actually, what I do, what I'll do is I'll just do this. I'll go back to this one here. Well, first, this one. We'll uh, go over here and delete it, and then we'll select that one again, and then uh, go down here and add one. Okay, uh, and then we'll need to go to our top view here. Let's go to all perspectives. And we'll need to swing that around. Holding down shift on this one's fine. And then we'll go over here to this one here. Select that one and we'll delete that one. And we'll put one right there and swing that one around. There we go. Now we got a little bit better shape there. Yeah. A little more solid okay and then I'll go back up to my top here and we want to drag that up to about a I don't know three or three or four something like that around a four is fine all right and then from here what I want to do is go to my uh, well I guess I could do it from my perspective uh, I want to well, let's go to all that's probably even better I want to drag this thing over a little bit something like that and I'm just going to accept this right now but I might have to manipulate it in a bit so I'll go to my transform and I need to really I just need to check this part of it so I want them pretty close together but not so far uh, over them. let's hit enter on that uh, enter on that and then click on my profile again and do a little bit more editing let's I'm watching my perspective viewport. Something like that, I think. So that it kind of comes down just a little bit right in between those two. All right? And then I'll hit enter and then I'll just get rid of that one for right now. Don't need it. All right, so the next part, we'll just go g grab a curve. Uh, go to our extract ISO curve and we'll drop that right in the middle here maybe there we go and we'll hit enter and we'll grab that curve and just go ahead and slap some stones out there real quick uh, on gems on curve and we want to select our target surface as this 
surface and we'll drag those stones on around and down and we'll click back to our other viewports all our viewports and kind of uh, get them to where we want them something uh, let's take it up a little bit somewhere around here is fine and we'll just make them a little bit smaller something like that nine maybe even a one should be okay but let's uh, let's just take those uh, and then you can get them we can always manipulate them later too so uh, and we'll drop them down to our table and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to give them a little bit extra boost down because in inside the ring because we have a lot of extra room there uh, so we might as well use some of it uh, and protect those gemstones and those prongs a little bit so I'll take it down quite a bit uh, and then hit enter and then I'm just going to select those stones go to my cutters and do a channel and right away I'll go from round to flat I'm not a big fan of the the round one uh, and we'll drag that up and we'll drag it down and right away I'm going to also change that uh, cutter it's not one of my favorites go to this one which is and hit select and we'll go to we'll click on our right viewport and go to wireframe and come in here and take a look and I'm kinda keeping an eye on my perspective to see how much uh, room I have out there all right, and we can probably drag it up a little bit. Somewhere around there, maybe. And we'll hit enter and check this out. Everything will update after it's cut, so it's no big deal. Uh, and then we'll go to our solid, Boolean difference, select our surface, enter, cutter, surface, enter. And actually, that doesn't look too bad. All right, let's check our depth. Depth's okay. So we'll just go ahead and take that, hit enter. Now we'll just go ahead and grab the prongs, might as well, we're here. Uh, so setting, prong placer, first thing of course is to drag them up. Give them some uh, metal there to be able to put nice little beads on. And I'll take this and we'll go to this viewport here uh, and kind of check our prongs out. We can bring those prongs down or in just a little. Four or five, that should be okay. And nudge just a smidgen. Yeah, not, not that much. Something like that should be fine. And we need to adjust those outside prongs. So let's go to the end and I think there were a four seven uh, so I'll just go here type in uh, point four seven hit enter and then we'll give them a nudge out a little too much should be okay all right and we'll hit enter so we'll take that all right so this is what we've got so far right something like this all right so let's go keep moving on I'm gonna take all my yellow at this point I'm gonna need it later so I'm gonna switch it to this peach color here uh, and then turn it off so I know that's all kept on my uh, sweet little peach color there uh, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to curves uh, select extract ISO curve and this time I'm going to take it right out of the side here down a little bit but not too far uh, somewhere maybe around here and yeah that should be okay and uh, we'll go ahead and take that and then I'll go to my top viewport and let's see, let's turn this on 
all on there we go uh, and I'll get a arc direction and I'll snap it from that end down there to here and just kind of give it a little kind of U shape uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my line curve and from that I'm going to turn off my ring rail for a second uh, go from that mid or quad there and then draw it straight down holding down shift so I have another curve coming there and then I'm going to go to my uh, front viewport and I'm going to right click bring back that line curve go to my let's get a good look up here too uh, make sure it's on that quad there and then draw a line with an angle coming down something like this uh, and then we'll do another blend from this curve here to this one there okay and it's definitely on the wrong side so what we'll do is we'll need to flip that one and do we need it yeah we need to flip both of them so it comes out something like this we'll drag this one up and this one kind of out I want a little bow there going on is that enough bow yeah I think that should be okay so hit enter and then again I'll just grab that curve that we used and hold down shift and grab that one turn them to gray because we might need to adjust that uh, not sure yet we'll have to check out our surface here okay so something like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our ISO curve there and I'm going to split it with our uh, curve through the middle there and hit enter and so we should set okay and now what I'll do is uh, uh, surface I want to get a surface so let's put it on this surface and we'll do a uh, curve network we'll select this side of the ISO curve our mid curve this side of the ISO curve and then our little U down there and we'll hit enter alright there we go and we'll take that yeah, looks good, maybe. <laughs> All right, uh, and right away we'll take that surface and just check everything out. And we'll... Looks okay. Yeah, everything looks good. The curvature. All right, and we'll just uh, remove that. <coughs> Alright, so from here, this is our, our top part's pretty much done. Uh, we'll, now we'll get ready to do the um, design on the, the surface here using SmartFlow. So this will be, uh, that's one, and we'll switch over to the timestamp for number two. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, the easiest way to put uh, something on this, of course, would be the Jolly. So all you have to do really is go to the Jolly. Uh, and select your surface and then grab a pattern that you think uh, would be pretty cool out there we'll just go with uh, my one of my favorites uh, and we'll hit enter and we'll just bump that up a little uh, bump it up a little more and maybe one more something like that and then just uh, go ahead and hit enter and then you could really just take that uh, jolly and go to your uh, solids and pipe it and then you got your piping out there and it's a uh, 0.3 so it's six millimeters uh, it's three millimeter radius I believe yeah radius three so it's six millimeters and that's really a good surface uh, a good texture uh, and then go click on our surface there and hide it and then we have uh, a nice little uh, jolly there and we'll just go ahead and mirror it over to our other side, F4. Hold down Shift, click Enter, and you got a pretty cool looking uh, jolly. You could even take that, uh, jo uh, well, go to the pipe, go to the pipe on this side here, and change it to uh, yellow gold, which would be really cool. Uh, you probably have to make it so that piece fits in there so cut a piece out or have a rail going around your jolly so that it, you can snap it in and then uh, solder but it would be a 
a little bit of a nightmare. You'll probably have to stick with white. Uh, but that's, a, that's one way of doing it. So let's uh, continue on. Okay, we're back. Uh, we showed how to do it in the Jolly, so now we're going to draw uh, our own little design on there. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple, but you can do a lot of stuff with this uh, in this way. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is go ahead and draw our object, which is this here. Uh, so we'll hide this for right now. Uh, first thing I want to do is go ahead and grab me a line curve and make sure I'm on yellow and turn on my grid snaps and just draw me a line straight out here and I'm going to turn off grid snaps and I'm going to grab me a circle actually I'll go ahead and turn off uh, O snaps too uh, grab me a circle and I have that there so I'm going to draw this somewhere around here something like that and I'll drag it out just a little bit and from here I'll select my uh, circle right click on a split uh, so that I have uh, and I have snaps off so I can drag it anywhere I want and then I'll go there and maybe around here and then we'll just take that and delete it now we'll just go to our uh, blend curves and we'll go here to here and we'll drag this one around this side and that one's flipped so we'll go over here that's uh, second curve so we'll just flip that in our dynamic commands and we'll draw a little curve out there like that and we'll hit enter and then I'll take that and delete it so we'll take all this and we will join it together now let's check our curve at so we'll type in the command line curvature graph uh, see you are curvature graph hit enter and as you can tell the lines really not uh, uh, the continuity of the line is not real good we have uh, like a kink or something here so we're going to go ahead and remove that and we'll just type in a rebuild uh, rebuild the curve and I have 11 points uh, actually that looks okay so we'll just go ahead and take that and now we'll slap it back in here uh, add objects and the continuity is uh, much better everything's kind of uh, smooth that we have tangency so uh, we'll go ahead and remove that and we'll close out our curvature graph uh, so from here what we'll do is we'll grab our curve and we'll go ahead and grab a tools to profile placer and I want to switch that profile give it some uh, we just did the jolly so we want to make something a little different right so I'll grab this thing right here hit select close that out we'll do a little manipulation maybe around a 1.8 uh, 1.8 looks good and we'll slap another one over here on the end and it looks like it placed it in a good position so we'll hit enter and we'll go to our surface sweep surface one this this and this and hit enter and we'll drag that out just a little bit yeah, it looks okay let's go to make sure we don't have any manifold or anything going on okay uh, we'll take that and uh, we'll hit enter all right so right away I'll just go ahead and grab my yellow and turn them to gray and turn them off and I'll just grab my cur uh, scroll there or whatever it is <laughs> and we'll mirror it from uh, F4 holding down shift and do that instead of uh, boolean union and all that I'm just going to grab me a planar curve uh, and drag that out there and then I'm going to go to my split command uh, objects to split are my two scroll pieces here hit enter and cutting object is my planar curve and hit enter then I'll get rid of that select all that stuff in the middle delete it grab this one and this one and join them together and check my surface close poly surface okay so there we go we have this thing all right we'll turn it to uh, a little green here and just turn it off let's bring back our ring all right so we have this puppy uh, from here what we're going to do is oh uh, just FYI uh, I went ahead and did the cuts I didn't think you really needed to see that so but they are there uh, I'm going to turn off my blue uh, off my green and turn off my purple and select my surface and I'll just go ahead and delete it and I'll delete this curve here because I don't need it 
All right, and I don't need this one here anymore. So what we'll do is we'll take this curve, go to our front viewport, and we're going to go to transform, and we're going to take that curve, and we are going to project it to C plane. Uh, delete input objects. Uh, we'll just keep it. Never know. And hit enter. So let's go back to our perspective, and we have that curve in the middle now, right? So what we're going to do from here is uh, we're going to uh, grab another curve, a line curve, but I'm going to right click on it so that I get both uh, from both sides. I'll just right click on that and I'll turn on my snaps and from this top point right there I'm just going to hold it down and actually let's go to all viewports and I'll drag it up and I'm just going to make it a lot bigger than my item. right? okay now I can take this one it's right there so I can take it uh, duplicate it duplicate it no no duplicate let's I don't know what's going on here let's draw I don't know what happened uh, duplicate it in place and we'll just select one of those curves and we'll just grab that point there and we'll bring it down to this one, this point right there on that uh, curve that we just snapped to the uh, C plane. Uh, so from here what we're going to do is get a surface. So we'll go surface one and we'll take that center line and this one and this one will be our curves and we'll hit enter. And we'll go ahead and get rid of all this stuff because we don't need it and hit enter. And if you saw, my surface was pink on this side. That probably means my directions are off. So I'll type in DIR and hit enter. And yes, the white arrows or the norms are pointing in. So we want to flip those. So we'll flip those out and we'll hit enter. So now if I type in DIR after selecting that surface, my norms are pointing out. Uh, so we'll take that, all right? So from here, what I want to do is I want to go to my curves. I want to go down to edit from object and I want to grab my curve U, uh, create UV curves. All right. So I'm going to select that, uh, select surface to create UV points, uh, curves and points. So this surface select points and curves so the curves that I want are this one here and that one there and then hit enter and there's my surface right so we have that and I want to make it the same direction as my object there so I'm going to click on it and 180 enter there we go alright so let's bring back our little uh, thing here and we have our object, so let's just drag it over. Let's go to our top viewport so we can kind of see what's going on. All right, so now we need to lay out our items. So let's see, uh, we'll t hold down, uh, well, let's do uh, 3D. So uh, let's go to transform. Let's go to scale, uh, 3D, uh, that object. Let's go to the mid there, that's fine. And we'll hit and just kind of drag it down and before I go any further I forgot we should probably put a curve from the midpoint to the midpoint so we can kind of get an idea of where it needs to go and let's by the way drag that onto onto our curve there so now we know it's lined up and let's drag him all the way up to the top there somewhere around there should be fine and before I go any further, uh, let's let's get that. It's killing my eyes. Uh, let's put it on this color here. Should be fine. Uh, and before I go any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and we're going to do a little transform uh, taper. Uh, yeah, taper. No, not taper. What is it? Uh, yeah, it is. It's taper. Let's do taper dynamic select our object hit enter and we want to taper this in and I'm going to go over here enable second length so I have this this one I can taper this way but I want to taper thickness this way right here on this end 
so I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to just kinda drag that one down a little and actually let's let's drag that back up okay I'm gonna bring in my uh, initial point down here so, so it will start there uh, and then drag it down a little okay and then I'm going to actually even drag it in just a little okay so something like that and then hit enter and to take our green and we'll just turn it to gray alright so we have this alright now if we'll go back to all our viewports here and it's back to yellow again <laughs> so we'll take it there uh, and we'll take one and I'll hold down alt and make a dupe of that and kind of drag it where I want it somewhere around there and I'm going to go over and select this one and bring it in just a little okay that's okay and this one I'll take it and uh, bring it up a little and we'll bring this one out a little and then I'll do it again hold down alt drag this one down somewhere around here and we'll do a little manipulation we'll go to our transform or scale uh, we'll go to 3D and we'll select right in here and kind of scale it in a little. There we go. And we'll drag it up somewhere around here. And we'll select that one and hold down all and drag it down somewhere around here. Go back to our scale 3D somewhere around here and make that one kind of like that and drag him up like that and we'll do it maybe one more time just to see hold down alt drag him down a little and we'll go to our scale 3d right in there and bring him in something like that there okay so now we have our curves out there this one kind of needs to go in a little bit it looks like okay maybe a little bit more alright and actually we'll take him and we'll just make him a little bit uh, we probably shouldn't do that we should probably go to our scale 1D from our right viewport and we'll select him here and just hold down shift and kinda drag him a little bit bigger so you can see they're coming down right uh, okay and we'll take this one same thing go to our scale okay let's go to our front view all right, so you can see they're kind of did 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 right. So let's do this. Uh, let's go uh, turn it to our mirror here or our uh, lines, and let's see. We want to take this one, and we'll uh, go from this midpoint. We'll hold down, go to the curve there, and just kind of drag it up so it's kind of with our line there. Uh, and then we'll take this one, do the same thing, go to that end where we're on our line, bring it back on our line, and then uh, undo. Okay, one more time. Uh, let's see. Let's make this line a different color so we can see it. Which line? This line here. We'll turn it to red. How's that? Now we'll go to our front, and we'll take this one, click on it, uh, let's go to, we want near on, we don't want quad, we don't want mid, we want just near, near, there we go, alright, and then this one here, kind of drag them up so they line up with the other ones and maybe 
he's a little too high, huh? Uh, well, I'm not going to mess around with it. Uh, you see what I'm going with it. Uh, so let's see. Let's keep uh, keep on going here. On our line. Right here. Right here. And just kind of drag him up. And our last one here. On our line. Okay. So now let's take a look at So it looks like they're going into each other, right? coming out of each other so now what we need to do is we'll take this change that to yellow and we'll just go to our surface uh, planar curve and hit enter we'll take that surface we'll change it to this and now we'll do a flow so let's go to our transform go to our flow uh, smart flow select our base surface select our destination surface and it looks like we're going to have to do some flipping but let's just go ahead and get these up there so I'll hit uh, objects and we'll select this one this one this one this one and this one and we'll hit enter and give it some time because there's probably a lot to put up there and uh, like I said we're going to have to flip it so we'll flip that one and we'll flip this one Oop. Okay, we won't flip this one. There we go. Okay. So r we can see our items, right? And they're all pretty close there. So let's go ahead and accept that. We can do uh, small manipulations if we need to. Let's take these and put them on a color that's kind of bright so we can really get a good look at them. And we'll change it to plastic here. Let's see if we, what we got going on. And that goes in. Oh, let's get rid of this, hide it. That goes in, it looks like. That goes in. That one doesn't look like it's touching. That one is. Okay, so this is the only one that's not. So let's ungroup those real quick. And then let's just take this and give it a little punch out. Oop, not that much. Just a little. And we should be good to go. Yeah. And this one, okay. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And this one. Hard to tell. We could probably punch him out a little. So let's go ahead and do that just to be safe just a little there we go okay alright so there you go now we have our item up here right but uh, still could probably do something right in here uh, but I don't think that I want to try and uh, put any more of these in there because I think that uh, maybe a little too thin looks pretty cool uh, so what I'm going to do is, since I have that curve there, let's see about going ahead and just putting a profile on there. And we'll need to do a little manipulation with that. Uh, so we'll grab this curve and s hold down shift, spin him around, and I'll go. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and hit. Nah, we'll 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 adjust it. Uh, we'll make it s a little smaller. Maybe around a point eight, and we'll make it to a point eight, and we don't want it to go on the outside there. We want it to kind of go right up into our little thing there, uh, so we can maybe move it in a little. And let's just drag one kind of like right in here, and let's flip him around so hold down shift one two and as you can see it's way too big uh, so that's a point eight so that's real thin there right so maybe we should do something about that so let's see let's go ahead and point eight point eight is okay let's do a point five what is that? 
0.6, okay. Let's go down here and grab this one. Let's do a 0.6. And let's go ahead and change that profile now. Give it a little something different. Okay, so we have that. And let's change this one to that same profile. Okay. Here, here, here. All right. So we have that. Let's see. So we can actually probably just go ahead and drag that one on into our surface up here. So let's go up here, take a look. Let's go to our front view. And it's a little angled, so let's go ahead and make it straight. And let's drag it in, and we'll probably have to do a little manipulation, but let's see what it looks like before we do all that. Uh, go back to our wire frame. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, drag it up a little. I don't want to see it. Well, I could probably see a little bit of it, and that's fine. All right, let's just see what this does. And we'll hit Enter, and we'll do a... Uh, surface one from here to there to that one and hit enter okay so it's going up so we can do a little more manipulation let's go ahead and just take that and then I'll take this curve here and we'll go to our edit and I'll select that one and kind of watching everything I'll drag it out a little bit okay and then I'll go up here to this one here and uh, we'll drag it up a little bit. There we go. So we got a little line going right through the center of our items. And we'll hit enter. Okay. And from here, what I'll do, uh, give it a little bit more pizzazz, perhaps, uh, is I'll go to my curves, go to ISO curves, and I'll select on that right it's right on my mid so we'll hit enter and then I'll take that curve we'll go to our solids go to our balls I'll select curve here enter and we'll just drag some balls out there that'll spice it up a little and where's our start position okay so I kinda just need to do a little manipulation here we'll drag those in a little We'll drag those much smaller. What's going on there? Oh, it goes out. Okay, we'll fix that. Uh, let's see. Kind of something like that. And something like this here. I don't want it below my mid. And that looks okay. We'll hit enter. Now let's go ahead and fix this thing here. Let's take this and hide it real quick so I can kind of see what's going on here. Take this. wonder what happened there. Let's delete that. Let's just sweep it one more time. Let's see what's going on. We'll go from here, here, to here, and hit enter. we got that going on. We'll go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of this. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so we'll hit enter, and then we'll select that curve, find out what's going on with it. And the first thing we'll do is we'll drag it back in to see, it. yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so we'll go right before it goes crazy on me, and we'll hit enter, and then we'll grab that and go do a little manipulation go ahead and put our items on there. Now our balls are jacked up. So we'll hit enter, we'll grab our balls at this point. Yeah. We can go back and grab this curve. Kind of bring it down just a little. Hit enter. Now we'll go back and grab another ISO curve off this surface here. Uh, 50, okay, enter. Now let's put those balls back up there. Solids. Drag them 
down put our surface back out here so we can kind of see what's going on all right where did our, ba oh, our balls disappear because I didn't hit enter okay uh, so select this curve is that the right one? Oh, there's two of them out there make sure I grab the right one hit uh, balls drag them down we'll do this in first I want them up a little bit and we want to s not roll kind of let's roll that back there we go something like that and our size go down 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 something like this and we'll just kind of that's as far as it will go that's fine and we'll drag this down just a little give it a little spice and hit enter and let's take those balls and put them on purple and turn everything back on see what we got take this turn it to gray take all this here turn it to gray take all our yellow turn it to gray and we have this here <coughs> Okay, let's take our uh, uh, this surface here. We'll change it to this surface. There we go. Pretty cool. All right, so we'll take all this and we will mirror it over to the other side. F4. Holding down Shift, Enter. Okay, so there's the top of our ring right there. And not too bad. Pretty cool, huh? and that should be fine we have a little spacing here but that still gives a little uh, pizzazz but there we go with that okay and then that will be this part here uh, and then when we come back we'll go ahead and finish the shank off alright be right back okay let's go ahead and finish this baby up uh, so uh, I must have gotten rid of my uh, ring rail at some point in time so no big deal I know it's a size 7 so I'll go to my tools and grab a ring rail back out there and hit enter so we have that and I'll actually just go ahead and turn it off for right now and I'll go to my front viewport and I can see that I kind of messed up and I didn't go all the way down to my uh, C plane there uh, so uh, I'm going to have to do a little manipulation so let's go to our top view here and we'll go to surfaces we'll go to our cutting layer and we'll just grab a planer and we'll drag a planer out there and we'll take the planer and we'll just drag it up a little bit so we can cut those off straight uh, yeah okay and then we'll take uh, this side and this side and we can't forget well we'll take all green actually and we'll just go ahead and split with our plane and hit enter and we'll get rid of that plane and we'll just go ahead and take all this turn it to gray and we'll take all this and turn it to gray and turn gray off so now I have a uh, planar surface there that I can work with uh, so what I'll do is uh, I'll go to my curves and we need to dupe some borders here so I'll go ahead and uh, grab the dupe border and take that this 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 and this and hit enter and then I'll just join those together so that I know they're all joined together uh, join them together I don't want to well I'll take all this here and join it together oh my gosh what's going on here so I know those aren't joined yeah I didn't think so so I'll take all that there join it together <laughs> uh, and I'll make sure it's on yellow so I'll turn it to yellow and then I'll just turn off all everything for right now because uh, I only need these out here and so I'll go to all my viewports here and we need to get some kind of a shape. Now this is my inside of the ring, this is my outside of the ring, right? Uh, so I'll just draw a couple lines. Uh, I'll make this one red and I'll go from that end to this end and I will go somewhere around in here 
uh, we'll make it from here and I'll hold down shift and with our intersect uh, snap on I'll click there and then I'll just take that one and mirror it from F4 so it's over to the other side there and then I'll just take all that and we'll do a little trimming here uh, we'll get rid of this here get rid of all that get rid of that there and hopefully that'll be okay uh, we'll go ahead and hit enter and then we'll join it together and take a look at one closed surface so I'll take that curve and I will mirror it to the other side F4 okay there we go and right away we might as well just go ahead since we're here uh, check these uh, points out our seam points so we'll take this we'll go here hit enter and we'll drag that into the mid and enter and then we'll select this one right click bringing it back and drag that one in to the mid okay and then we'll bring back our ring rail here and really it's only a five millimeter so I don't think that's too big for a bottom of a shank to be quite honest for as heavy as this ring is so I'm just going to go ahead and do a uh, surface uh, one sweep and see what it looks like from this this and this and hit enter and there you go and we have a nice little groove in the bottom there with a little bump uh, looks pretty cool uh, so I'll go ahead and take this down to a zero and actually see how all that gets all messed up in there uh, I'll just go ahead and turn those off and hit enter and of course it hit it because it's on gray green so I'm going to take my top here and hide it for a second and take that top there and hide it for a second and then I'm going to take this and well actually I could probably just take the whole thing and hit cap hit enter so now I have a, a nice smooth surface there right so I'll take this I'll turn this to this color and bring back everything and turn that off alright so I still have open surfaces here right uh, so let's see uh, should be able to cap so let's get hide red for oh let's hide red for a second should be able to cap those and it should be alright so let's go ahead and take that 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 this and just CAP it so I have all that and we should be good to go uh, so let's uh, bring back all our colors turn everything back on and let's see if we can get a, a boolean union going on here alright so let's take this surface uh, we'll leave it that color why not uh, we'll go to our solids uh, scroll down here boolean union We'll take this surface here, enter, this surface here, enter, and there we go. There's our first one. And we'll take uh, this surface here, and we'll go ahead and select this one here, and hit enter. Give it a little time here. See. Oh, I must mess something up. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Right click, select this surface here enter this surface here enter <coughs> enter okay and let's go ahead and select this and turn it to gray and do we have one here yep yeah. this one here turn it to gray this one here turn it to gray so we have that surface okay uh, basically it's just going around bullying everything and you're you're good to go so uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, the video was useful to you. And if it was, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. Uh, really appreciate it. And share the video. That would be awesome. Uh, so good designing and uh, take care.